Well, I think it's an exciting time for doing things differently. And mm -hmm. a, a lot of the things that we've been doing for 21 years, people are now not so freaked out about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, we started 21 years ago and said, oh, there's no grading and there's no testing. Uh, it really didn't make sense to the majority of, of the mainstream public. Mm -hmm. And now the research has, you know, really backed us up and, and it's clear that grading and testing is not necessary for learning and in fact might even hinder it. Right. So I, I think that it's an exciting time for alternatives and it's an exciting time to maybe have things that we've been doing out here on the edges, you know, brought into the more mainstream world. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know, some days I feel really optimistic about that. And <laughs> some days I don't, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. but I do know that a lot of families are looking for something different. Yeah. They, yeah. they really are. They, they see the culture in school also as a big problem. Right. Right. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.